Daniel and Rachel here from Mango Street Lab. A few weeks ago, we asked you guys to send us your photos to be critiqued. And we know it's super vulnerable to do that and to accept that criticism, so we thank you for sending them in. We had so many submissions, and we're gonna get to as many as we can today. A quick thing that we wanted to mention is that everything we say today should be taken with a grain of salt. Um, art is subjective, and what we say shouldn't be the end of the conversation, rather the beginning. And take the opportunity to use the comment section of this video as a forum to talk about what you might do differently, what you love about the photos. Just keep in mind that everyone here is at different levels, beginner to intermediate to professional, and everyone has different style preferences. So be kind and good to each other. All right, so with our first photo, it's got great leading lines. It really directs you to the center of the image, which is really cool. I like the minimalist color. I think that's great. Um, the one thing I might change though is all these leading lines lead you directly to the sign that says real estate. I think that's kind of distracting and it's not really the subject of the image. So um, instead of that, it would have been great to see a person or some other subject right where the leading lines lead the eye. Overall, great job though. For this photo, we love the tones. Um, I love the green with the yellow. The skin tone is awesome. Um, the only thing that's a little distracting is her shirt. Um, the Adidas shirt feels more like it should be like in an urban environment, maybe not in nature. Um, so I maybe would have had her button up her coat. Um, the other thing that I noticed is there's a lot of shadows um, on her eyes, so I might have lifted those a little bit. The last thing I would say is that the horizon cuts her right at the head. Um, so if you would have shot up at her, um, or down at her to change where the horizon is. Um, that's the only other thing I would have done. Other than that, it's a great photo. I like that she's composed in the center and it looks natural. This photo is really cool. The colors really grab you and draw you into it. I like how the smoke kind of frames her face so that you can still see her facial features and her smile and everything like that. I think that's really cool. For me, the highlights are kind of hot on her face and on her legs. So I might have lowered the exposure a little bit. And then the pattern of her clothes is a little bit distracting. My eyes kind of go there instead of to her face, which is I think where you were intending for the viewer's eye to go. The other comment I would make is there's a lot of negative space in the sky. And I think you could fill the frame more with your foreground and midground elements um, instead of having so much sky on top. So just fill the frame a little bit more with your subject. But yeah, good photo. Yeah, good photo. This photo is really interesting. I like that it intentionally breaks rules of composition. Um, I like that she is on the left side of the uh, frame looking left. It's different than you'd expect um, and it's really interesting. Um, the one thing that I might change is that the, uh, the lines on top lead your eye to the darkness. So I might actually put her in that corner, maybe looking the opposite direction. But yeah, I like the white balance, I like the tones. It's also, it's a little bit noisy, so I might have lit it differently, but it's cool. With this next photo, I think it's framed really well. The light hits the, the wooden stairs beautifully. Um, overall, it's just, it's a, it's a really nice photo. So right off the bat, I do like this photo. I like that it's got this hazier look. It's got some purple in the shadows. I think that's pretty cool. Um, the one thing I might change is you do see the guardrail here of the road and um, that's kind of distracting to me. So I might get, a, so walk a little closer past that so you can get that out of your frame and get more of your actual scene in your shot. I like that it's not blown out, there's a nice blue sky. I may, maybe wouldn't have done as much purple in the shadows just because it looks a little bit over edited, but that's just my own personal taste and that might not be your style. Okay, I love this photo from Ricky Martin. As far as technique goes, the water is a little bit blown out, so I might have lowered my exposure a little bit more to correct that. The horizon is crooked, so I would have straightened that. And then there's a road sign, I think, on the left side of the screen, so I probably would have taken that out in Photoshop. I love this photo. Um, I like that your eye is automatically drawn to the cake, um, which I think you intended it to be the subject of the photo, and I'm getting that right away, that that's where my eye should go. Um, I like that you did an S-curve with the props. Um, I can follow an S with my eyes. Um, I like the, the mood of it. The one thing that I might change is that um, it's kind of one-dimensional in color. It looks like it has a sepia like filter on it just because of the color choices. And then the flower in the front seems like it's blown out. Other than that, I think it's a great photo. The props help the... Tell the story. Yes, help tell the story instead of take away from it. All right, Rico. For your photo here, we have great dynamic range. I like how the sky is really blue. We still have details in the shadows. The composition is great. I love how the cow is staring straight at the camera. 
Uh, I really, there's not really a whole lot I would do differently. The only thing is, um, I think the blacks are a little crushed for my taste. I would like to see the black points a little closer to true black, but other than that, I think it's a really nice photo. Maybe with the shadows on the left side of the cuff. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could go in there with an adjustment brush and just lift up that side of the face so we can see a little bit more of the cow there. Cow left. Cow left. Okay, Kingsley, um, I love how you framed this. The composition is awesome. Uh, the, the, the edges, the bushes, whatever those are, the wall, um, make leading lines that lead right to your subject's face. I love that you turned your subject uh, kind of profile, and I love that the, the buildings and the bushes right in front all, all work to frame the subject. We know exactly where our eyes should go. I love that he's wearing red. Um, that's another thing that helps draw us there. So Overall, all, all of those things help to, to show us where to look. Yeah, you did a lot of things right with this, and I think it's really cool. And there's just a few things I would change, and one thing is that he's cut off at the wrists and the waist. That always looks a little awkward when you have your subjects cut off at their joints. Try to get a little bit more of their legs and their hands in there, or cut off a little bit higher up on their forearm and get uh, less of their waist in there. Yeah, and the other thing is it's a little bit too faded just for my taste. This might be the style you're going for. We try to keep it timeless just so that in five years you'll still love this image. Cool, good job. Yeah. Right off the bat, Rachel's allergic to cashews, so she does not like this photo. I'm seeing an S-curve. The table is making the S-curve, which I don't think, I think it's meant to be a background object and not the subject. Um, it's not really taking my eye to the book or the coffee, it's just taking my eye straight to it. It's also a brighter color, um, so I might have chosen a different table color and I might have uh, placed my objects to be the S-curve instead of making the table the S-curve. But it's a great photo, I love the edit. We hope you guys enjoyed this critique, we hope you learned something from it, we hope it'll help you become better photographers. But if you don't like the critique, then just take it with a grain of salt, it's just our opinion, so who cares. Um, but thanks again for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next week. Mm. Um, don't put any of that in there.